This is the future. future well hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this is crypt zone and episode 19 of minecraft so today in today's video we're going to start with part three of the building of the castle which will be my living quarters now we have done a throne room we've got a chapel a treasury and a wine cellar uh, but today we're going to do the actual living area so i really had to think about how i wanted this place to look and uh, i first started off with a foyer or a i would say living room this will be the area where guests would come together and from that point on they will be shown either to the dining room or to the ballroom so that was the first section that I built the next room that I was um, building was the kitchen and uh, I needed to make a nice uh, biggish kitchen because this kitchen is going to provide for, for me and the family and if there was any guests that were going to arrive they had to be able to make food for them so the next room to be built is the dining room and I'm sure you guys have realized that I'm sticking to the black and white theme um, it just actually looks so much better I built the whole top section uh, with black and white concrete and uh, the dining room was also going to be a bit bigger but I was at the end of the day only able to cater for about 10 people so uh, if I'm going to get people to come and visit me, it's going to be a very small gathering in the house and maybe uh, something bigger on the outside. So uh, this is a very small kingdom uh, or castle, you know. I'm not uh, keen on getting a lot of people here, it seems to me. And um, I'm still struggling with the size thing. I know I must build bigger and better, but I just don't know. I just, I just can't think bigger than what I'm doing. You guys will see when it comes to the to the bedrooms as well. I actually messed up, um, but it's not just because of the size of the bedrooms. It's because the, the the site that I allocated for the build is only so big, and I was limited with space um, when I wanted to build my stuff. And I didn't want to go higher because then I was going to build over the throne room's windows, and then the throne room wouldn't have any windows at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, it probably comes back down to planning. I know, I know, I know, I have to plan my stuff, but um, like I also told my one friend the other day, is I cannot plan something. As I'm building it, I suddenly get a new idea, and then I follow the idea, and that's why it, it keeps changing. And trust me, guys, after this, this build, it changed again, and it's probably going to change another time. So, the final build is going to be totally different than what you are seeing here today so um, everything was built but uh, yeah the bedrooms especially the the kids bedrooms were just a bit too small I tried to build like a chandelier above the dining room table but it didn't work out quite as nice as I hope so I just made this kind of design just as a little bit of a focal point so that the, the dining room would have a bit of a, a nicer light design than the, the rest of the house. It's been a couple of weeks since I've built this section of the house. So I'm trying to think what I wanted to do next. I think next was the two bedrooms. Um, so while I'm recording this, I'm trying to <laughs> look at what I'm doing and then thinking of what I was doing. But I think this was uh, the planning and the layout for the two bedrooms and I remember um, I was trying to figure out how the ballroom was gonna look and how we're going to enter the ballroom and uh, I started off with building some steps here and there and then uh, looking at the area and I'm wondering how big am I gonna do this how big am I gonna make the ballroom and 
This was all just part of the planning, I think. Here we are busy with the main bathroom. And um, again, to help me with the size of the bathroom, I decided to do the interior first and then build the outside walls around what I've done. The next step was to do my own bathroom in my own bedroom. Then obviously once the main building area is finished, the biggest pain in the ass of course is finishing the roof and figuring out how the roof was going to be. Uh, this is such a tedious job this roof. Forwarding a few hours later, we have a ballroom study that has already been completed and I'm still busy just finishing off the roof. So once I'm done with the roof, I will probably just finish the inside then I'll show you guys the final living quarter section of the castle. After I was done with the roof, I decided I just needed to take a quick walk through everything that I've done so far because um, I realized I've got Enderman as you guys can see there. There's Enderman that's spawning inside my houses and then leaving all these dirt cubes lying around everywhere. So I just wanted to go around and clean out all of that and I even found, I think if I'm not mistaken before I, for this, I found two Endermen inside my house which I killed because they are stealing my terracotta tiles, especially in the throne room. There's already a block of terracotta gone. Oh, look how big this tree became. Um, I had to trim it a bit because the leaves were too low. You couldn't actually enter there. So I just trimmed the trees a bit. And then uh, the chapel, everything is fine. Um, didn't see anything wrong. And I'm also looking for places where there's uh, missing bricks or missing blocks out of the ground just so I can tidy up and fix what I need to fix. So this is also just a quick, uh, you know, for the guys who might have missed the previous videos on how, ah, see, another block. To show you guys what it looks like at this point in time. Um, shame, I'm, I'm sad I had to lose my windows later on, but that's one of those things. Like I said, the build keeps on changing. So uh, yeah, the bedroom for the for the pastor, and then uh, of course we can go through to the um, front room, if I'm not mistaken. See if there's anything else there that's missing. See another block of sand. The whole time, every now and then, I have to go and make a a walk through the whole place just to make sure that there's nothing left for me, no gifts. So, uh, yeah, but I think after I killed these endermen, I didn't have any issues again after, the, after that. Those were the only issues I had. Okay, let's do a quick overview of the property so far on the outside. It's setting out to be quite a big place. Um, I'm quite happy with the, with the aesthetic, with the way it looks at the moment. Um, We'll be decorating inside in a little bit, but so far this is what we have up to this point. So it's, it's becoming a big, a big castle. And this is just now the upper tier of the castle. There's still going to be a second or middle and lower tier coming to this castle. But so far, this is what we have. I don't think it looks too bad. Okay, welcome to the house. We haven't done any decorating yet. Uh, this is how it looks so far. This is your way to the ballroom. And look at my ballroom. Very shiny, very big. Um, I could have made it probably three or four times the size of this. But again, like I told you guys, I'm not really good with size. Um, so here's a look of the completed ballroom. More like a social place, if you ask me. You've got your stage where you can put your live bands. You've got some nice seating around the place where you can sit if you don't want to dance. You've got a bar area where they can serve your drinks. And uh, we've got a top section where you can look down onto the dance floor. And then of course everything is laid out in marble and gold. Just to be raw extravagant that is necessary.
We also have two sets of stairs, one going up, one coming down, or whichever way you want to look at it. But there's two sets of stairs. Let's quickly go up and I'll show you guys the study. Um, with my fish tank idea, improved upon because it's much better than it was in my own house. But for some reason my fish keep on disappearing. And I don't know why. Is the water too cold? Is the game uh, glitching somewhere, somehow? Because um, uh, they, the tropical fish I can find in the waterfalls. They are all over the place, but when I put them in here, or I put them in my pond that I built later on, by the way, my fish keep on disappearing and I don't know why. I thought to myself, maybe they don't get enough oxygen, so I opened up a space for them, put new fish in, and I left a little place open so they can get some oxygen. But it's not like they are dying, because I'm not finding any meat. You guys know when a fish die or anything die, it's got this meat floating around. I don't see that. It's just they're here for what moment, and the next day they are gone. Okay, and I'm done. Let's do a final review of the inside of the house when all the decorations is done. Um, came out quite nicely, I think. My garden looks good, and uh, the only problem I have was the size of the the room it was a bit small the bedrooms but otherwise not that bad so welcome to the house let's go inside so this is then your waiting area where people will gather have a place to sit talk while we're going to go down into the ballroom or to the dining room you see I placed a lot of doors because I don't want to um, open up the sections to everyone this is then your little entrance way. From here, and you can decide to go to the uh, study or to the ballroom itself. Put some plants here, some nice flowers. You enter here. There's now some portraits. Fish is gone again. Just after I put the fish in a few minutes ago, you see, gone. Something is stealing my fish. Anyway, let's just close that up. I don't think I'm going to. Use that any more than since I don't have fish. But yeah, this is the study. Uh, just a quick final look. You guys can have a nice look about uh, the whole study, how it looks like. Nice. Let's go to the ballroom. So, um, not much added since the last time you saw the place. You've got your balcony that you can stand on to look over to the people at the bottom. And we've added some uh, portraits. We've got the flowers seating places nice roof design to make it nice and bright i like the way the reflection the gold reflects it's give you a very shiny surface we've got your stage where you can put our music or our band we've got your extra seating places for people to sit we've got your bar area where you can get served your drinks and then of course the rest is open for you to dance in if you want to dance. That's the idea of the ballroom, isn't it? Nice big windows to let in a lot of natural light. And also to give you something to look at. Now, to the room. Let's just close this up. Okay, on our side is the dining room. Like I said, I cater for about 10 people. So there's not a lot of seat, seat place or sitting place, but at least it's something. I wish I had more options on the, the, the portraits. There's really some that's not very nice. In our kitchen, look how nice kitchen. Lots of packing space, nice marble counters, nice big fireplace. And I made these portraits myself. <laughs> so that's quite nice. Then moving deeper into the house, now the sleeping quarters. First we have the one bedroom. As you guys saw, it's a bit small. That's why I said I, I could have built this about three times the size, but I was limited with the area that I'm building in. 
So that's the only, only problem, is, is planning for size. The main bathroom, the bathtub, and the shower. The second bedroom. As you guys can see, there's also, like I told you guys from the beginning, it's going to be a modern type of castle. Not really a medieval castle. So that's where there's a lot of uh, modern uh, humanities here. Even my bedroom, I could have made it broader or bigger. But it's fine. It's my ensuite bathroom. And uh, I don't think it looked too bad. I don't think it's, it's, it's bad at all. So then, that's it. This is the house. I do think this is a very long house. And it still feels a lot of uh, uh, empty to me. I would have liked to have something on the walls or something just to break this this hallway but overall I don't think this is this is too bad I, I think it came out quite nice the garden is, is good and um, ah, you have this nice view of the Sun coming up in the mornings I think the location is also nice so then that's it guys for this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you don't li like this video give me a thumbs down but then be courteous and let me know in the comments why you give me a thumbs down so that I can improve on the videos and I can improve on the builds. Uh, the previous video I did was just the treasury and the winery and somebody gave me a thumbs down for no reason. So Anyway, I think it looks good. So uh, yeah, if you like this video, rem remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when the next upload is loaded up so you don't miss the second stage of the castle the next build will be the fountain and the servants quarters so anyway guys until next time whatever you do keep it safe cheers